Okay, this video is, do you need to track nutrients? Because that's kind of a thing on the internet. People tell me, well, I put this into my nutrient tracker and all this stuff. And I'm like, do you even take these numbers that seriously? Look around the world, these long-lived populations like the Okinawans. A lot of these people, they're illiterate. You know, look at the Tadahumara, the Yanomamo, those guys, Tadahumara running 100 miles, 200 miles in two days. Okay, you think that guy's tracking the amount of carotenoids or other nutrients that he's getting. No, they just eat their plant foods and that provides you what you need. The body's very good at extracting what it needs if you just give it plant food. Plant foods are the most nutrient dense foods out of all the foods in the world. So if you're eating your low fat plant foods, you're getting all these nutrients. So this was what was kind of funny. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. This is to a video by Jeff Nelson over at VegSource. And he was going through the fact that the Okinawans when they were like the longest lived people in the world, they were deficient in 12 different nutrients if you were going to go by these RDA recommendations. And these were RDA recommendations for the Japanese, so they're probably uh, less than what they would be for USA people. What I'm trying to say is that's not how you win the game. The main thing that people are all sick from, I tell you, I see a bunch of patients every day. They've got um, prediabetes, diabetes, hypertension, and then atherosclerosis plugging up the arteries all over the body. They got calcified arteries all over their body, degenerated spine, atrophic brain, uh, cataracts. You know, you, those are the Western diseases, abdominal pressure syndrome. So anyways, I thought this was kind of funny. I'll have the link to the Nelson video. It's very good.